What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Shared Screens Podcast, the podcast here on Shared Screens where we're not talking about anything specific. We're just vibing. We're just chilling. We're throwing topics back and forth together. I am your host today, Jordan Deep, and joining me today, we've got a fantastic crew. We've got Alec, Bob, Cole, and Josh, and some other Josh. How is everyone doing today? Doing good. Not too bad. While getting ready uh, for this podcast, I sprayed hair product directly in my eyeball, and now, like, no. Oh. So if I'm blinking a lot, I really apologize. <laughs> I can't relate to that, but I've done this thing before where like I'll grab cologne and go to spray it and the nozzles turn the other way and I just don't like soak my hand in cologne. Yeah, that's essentially what happened to me, except it was my eyeball. (laughs) Yeah. And then I just get worried about like eating anything for the next like three, four hours. (laughs) Just wash your hands. (laughs) I do, but you could still smell it. And so I'm like, oh, it's tainted. Um, Anyway, I had a fun question to bring up and I think that this is a good, a good group to do it with because- we have people from different parts of the country or just different upbringings. Because I had this issue yesterday when I was at the supermarket where I was looking for something. And I want to know, what do you guys call these? I'm sending the link in the chat. I have no idea what these are. Oh, um, freeze pops, I think. Uh, we never really had a name for them. It's just one of those things like, hey, these that's fair they all they are kind of like the thing that like they just show up in your freezer as a kid yeah they are at least here in canada we have a specific ba- brand mr freeze and oh, these, okay. are, these are freezies so you're like oh i want a freezy uh and then you go you got the fucking big jumbo box with the long ass ones and then there's like mm. the little itty bitty baby ones but mm-hmm. if you're a grown-ass adult you get the long one uh obviously white best best fucking flavor out there followed by grape cherry oh but orange is also pretty good too see i'm a big orange I'd guy with orange. candy like yeah. this i always orange, hate yeah. i hate you grape just call flavor. This candy or sweet stuff like it's an orange pop i call them i remember calling them ice pops but i know some people call them popsicles ice pops, yeah to me popsicles and pies is not all the yeah. same. This is the. St- I love you so much, but this is the stupidest but thing on the planet. I see, I see I people all the time go online, and be like, "What do you guys call these?" Because apparently, a good chunk of people call them otter pops. No. Why? No. I don't. Why do we need names? Like it's 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 an well, ice I mean, ice pop. It's fine. I wasn't allowed yeah. to eat food dye like that as a kid, or like it was very <laughs> limited, so we were not allowed mm-hmm. to have those. My so, parents um, didn't give a shit. No, so. my mom very much cared. We were not allowed to have uh, red number five, blue 40, and something else. Oh, wow. Like, it was very, like, yeah. <laughs> so, I saw something a while back. I think it was, like, TikTok or something, like, where, you know, they say, like, you know, everybody just, like, always bites off the top. and yeah. But apparently what you're supposed to do is, like, break it in half. I saw that. I got a box of them yesterday, and so when I have one, I'm going to try that method. Mm-hmm. Scissors. Yeah. People. Scissors, yeah. We, That's why I tell we, people. Come why on. are we using Come our on. mouths? Yeah, like, I'll tell you why. Because we have thumbs. I never God did. gave us thumbs. Whatever deity you believe in gave us just you well, fucking scissors. Because they're so hard to just yeah. yeah so me and my cousin, scissors. Me and my cousin used to play video games in his basement, and they had a freezer down there that would have these. But the scissors were upstairs, and we weren't gonna fucking walk upstairs. So we would just gnaw at them like Jeez. a like a rabbit or a hamster, and then Jesus. eat them. I um, my parents paid too much good money for my teeth, so that's why I'm like, no. Yeah, <laughs> never had braces, is, so like this is where I get into for you. <laughs> I feel like Jordan and I paint a picture of our parents that is so strange because sometimes Jordan sounds like he was raised by fucking wolves. And I know your mother, she's a delightful lady, and there were a lot of rules in your home and shit, but like you sometimes make it sound like you were raised by wolves. It's not that I was raised by wolves. It's sometimes the wolf owner left the wolf alone. <laughs> like, I, I am just naturally a wolf. <laughs> and my mom tried to beat a person into it, but she could only be there for so much. Yeah. It's so um, like this, this half wolf man. I am with you that the uh, Ecole makes it like it's a stick. You yeah, know, Pops Ecole, I Ecole, imagine. Ecole, yeah. All the Ecoles. Yep. Under there, it has a stick, but absolutely, when it's just in in a fucking little casing like that, absolutely, 
110% freezy, uh, fucking icy, icy pop, whatever you want. Yeah, that's the thing is yep. I was looking for them in the supermarket yesterday and like I, I didn't see them in like the ice cream section. And so like I found they're not frozen. They yeah. sell them melted. And so I asked, I was like, do you guys have ice pops? And he was like, well, what do you mean? I was like, Otter Pops? And he was like, I still don't know what those are. And I was like, the the, to- the tubes of just sugar and color. <laughs> right. And then <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys had these down in the States as well, but then we did the healthier version where instead of like a sugary little fun substance that we froze over, we, we filled it with yogurt, with strawberry yogurt, yogurt tubes, like gogurts. Did you guys yes. have these? People, people, some people freeze gogurt go-gurt. here. Yeah. There's not like a specific gogurt product to freeze, but like that is a thing. Like when I was taking swim lessons when I was younger, that would be like the treat um, that she would give out on the last day was like frozen gogurts. I was also not allowed to eat gogurts, so I never, never got to experience that. Um, but yeah, that's just like a thing where people will freeze those kind of like, and like Danimals has one like that's sim- similar that nah. you can freeze. Yeah. I never had Danimals as a kid. I had a decent amount of gogurt. Got to put them in the fridge. And I think the reason why I'm so like such a scissor guy with these things is because the, the yogurt tubes, you take it, you'd rip it a little too hard. Yogurt just... A little little cum yep. shot just everywhere, <laughs> just fucking blow like just you just the, those last five seconds of the, the porno place. type of thing. <laughs> exactly. Which funny when you get it on the walls of school, but like when it's on your like your nice new Spider Man shirt, it, it's devastating. Yeah. Dude. So I'm I'm yep. sister with these boys all the time. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, that was just one that came to mind because I just thought maybe we'd all call them different things. No, they just, it's, this is the unfortunate part, it's like time where I feel like an alien because since I didn't go to public school, there's a lot of shit I missed out on. <laughs> and so like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Cause like Victoria's talking to me about how like, oh, those, those like ice pops that they would give you on like field day at school. I'm like, I, I have nothing. We I don't know if I ever. About Jesus. What do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I ever got them at school. Maybe like the occasional time they'd just be like. Let's get a pack of Mr. Freezes for the kids. And of course, they're all doing the little ones. They they don't do the jumbo size ones. But like at home, at the grandparents' place, you got the jumbo ones. Can I ask you a, a very hot weird summer day? question? Just kiss, yes. Is there in Canadian schools the focus on exercise, like forced exercise that there is in America? Where like elementary yes. schools have field day and all that? Yeah. Okay. I was uh, just curious. <laughs> Yeah, you have to do, uh, like, especially in the high school level, they have the fucking Mr. Graham Pacer Test or whatever the fuck thing it is. And it's, like, a a week-long, like, thing. Or maybe it's, like, I don't know, because you alternate days, right? So you have gym every Mm. other day. So it's, like, okay, for either three days or two days, you have to do, like, the physical uh, trait, like, the just the test just to be, like, well, how many times can you run – back and forth between the gym walls and yeah. it's like being a fat kid doing those it's like oh i'm gonna get to like 10 and tap well that's out. why like, i was that curious suck. is because like forced exercise really bothers me and those kind of like here it's like the presidential like exam that you have doing you fifth guys grade. call it the prime minister fitness test uh i think because there's just like one cd recording it's all just the fucking gram pacer test or whatever the fuck and then Fun. <laughs> um, of course, because we have, uh, Terry Fox. I don't know if you guys know Terry Fox, uh, had cancer, ran across Canada with it and like lost his leg midway through. You have to do oh. Terry Fox day every like fall and you have to run. I, I can't remember how, what the distance is, but it's like, it's a good chunk that they just force you to run. And it's like a Terry Fox run. And it always sucks. Because you never know when they're going to do it in the fall. And in elementary, mm. they used to do it early in the fall. So it'd be like 20 degrees, 30 degrees for us, which is like 90, 90 plus for around you guys. They'd make us run in elementary school. Jeez. And then in a hot day like that, you'd come in and they'd be like, all right, we have 3% milk for you kids. And it's like, oh, yeah, I just ran in the heat and I'm about to down some, I'm about to down goddamn uh, milk. <laughs> or they do it later in the fall where it's not hot, but it's snowing. Bitter and cold. Like, yep. Yeah, a bitter like, cold. I breathe. Yeah, and they're like, oh, we don't care. Go out and do your Terry Fox that, run. It's like, that kind oh, of cold where it, it hurts to breathe. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, literally. And they're like, well, you're still you're still going to do it. And every kid comes in with just red beating faces from like layering up and then being forced to run. So it sucks. Yeah. This is how I, I know just, I was a lazy kid. I never once walked back in after recess sweaty. No, I feel like though it was like a certain type of boy that like walked back in from recess sweaty. Well, I also, yeah. I mean this in the nicest way in, in present company. I feel like young boys are just sweatier than young girls. I don't remember that's any. Ever. But that's the thing. Yep. I feel like I was sweatier like later because like in my junior year. Oh, I feel like you grew body hair in that like insulin. Yeah, but I'm also older, older for, I'm also brown and older for my grade. So that started happening earlier. But like junior year, I fucking hated that I had gym like first or second period. And yeah. like I would then go into chem class and half the chem class was also in that gym class. So we would just walk in like, sure, we changed our clothes, but yeah. we're all still sweaty. We're like in elementary school, I feel like by the time you're back from recess there's like two hours left See, yeah 100 percent. morning gym i always had first period gym and that is why i get up now at 6 30 in the morning to go work out is <laughs> because like high school just conditioned me into that my high school started our first period started at 7 15 in the morning so like 7 15 yeah. on a monday morning i'm out yeah. in a fucking soccer field yeah but you could you have know, like that. second second period gym before lunch and it's still like 10 in the morning and it's like oh this fucking yeah. sucks and then i'm gonna be smelly all afternoon and be that's why i love having gym later in the day yeah i but. have no interest in doing physical activity later in the day because but specifically because then i knew i was gonna go home and i would have like two hours and then i had to go to dance class so like i would really just get yeah would like to spread out the exercise mm -hmm. yeah. high school gym is the only reason i moved around at all yeah no see yeah. i dance five nights a week so that was then, the other thing is I thought it was bullshit that I couldn't get out of gym the way the athletes could, even if you didn't play on a high school team, that I couldn't get out of it, even though I was going to dance class five nights a week. Like, yeah, doing just intense cardio five nights a week. Why the fuck do I have to be here? Right. I'll never I'll never forget, like, discussing schedules with with friends and then being like, oh, you know, you don't have to take gym past grade 10. And I was like, holy shit. I now you just guys don't have to take didn't have to take gym class grade ten. No, grade ten they were like, okay, it's mandatory. And even in grade ten gym, they're still like, okay, you choose what you want to do. No, or, do you want to like you sign up for badminton? You sign up for uh, basketball? Like whatever your interest is, they just mm -hmm. have like uh, just a ton of sheets of different physical activities you sign up for. Uh, they do that in grade nine, ten, and then after that, you're done. It's like thank, thank yes. the Lord, thank God, I'm out of this shit. See. In America. Michigan, it was a little different because I think it was more just like they call it like the health, like yeah, yeah, health class, and then they had PE, like weightlifting, like kind of like all those kind of classes kind of lumped mm -hmm. in there. And you had to have yeah. so many like, credits in that to graduate. Yeah. So basically, uh, you could pick when you had it. So if you were smart, you would take health your freshman year, and then you would take gym your sophomore year, and then yeah, just right. be done with it. In so New York, York's insane. Oh, yeah. You can't take health in New York. You cannot take health until at until tenth grade. That's the oh, first I took it year. Nine. It these rules got weird with us during. You have to remember when we were in high school. New York was redoing a lot of like yeah those laws. Like the regents had... exams got like fully overhauled the yeah. year we graduated. Um, we also had like there was middle school health and then there was high school health. But that's not necessarily statewide. That's just how your school did it. You're not required to do health before that, except you're yeah. required to do like pew, why your body's changing, essentially. Which, not for nothing, yeah. yes, I, I believe sex education is wildly important and, and sex education should be in all schools and all of that stuff. However, I wanted to kill myself during that period of time. The whole like, this is how and why your body is changing. No. My mom gave me yeah. an American Girl Doll book called The Care and Keeping of You. Every girl my age got that book. I was fine. I didn't need to be there. <laughs> It's wild in like fifth grade where like they separate the boys and the girls and the boys are like, yeah, okay, right? I'm going to, I'm going to start yeah. popping stiffies and girls are just crying. <laughs> like literally. Sorry. Yeah. I don't like, mean that like uh -oh. as a joke. Put there. that on. No, I mean, put that on top of, I went to Catholic school. So there's the whole, oh, the Eve of, or the sin of Eve. <laughs> and like the, uh, I was compared to use tape and use gum twice in fifth grade and in 10th grade. <laughs> Uh, where it gets into the if you have sex before marriage, you're essentially garbage and like you're, you're gonna get bubba. divorced. What? Trident or hubba bubba? 
Uh, I think technically the whole point is that it has to be something that has like the, like the foil, because like you can't put it back in the foil and it be perfect. Okay, so like a nice five gum. Uh, yeah. uh, you probably could with Trident layers. Those those things are thick. And inside. also, when I got compared to a used up piece of tape, um. It was me and a kid that was in the drama club with me that she pulled up and wrapped tape on our hands and had us put them together. And like, it was difficult to pull apart and we pulled it apart. And then she made us go up and touch people only of the opposite sex, which at the time I was like, oh, whatever. Now that irritates me a little bit. But, and we had to touch their clothing and then try to stick our hands back together. And this is the stupidest analogy because the tape stuck. Like, we were fine after that. She had to come up again and pull her hands apart. But, like, goes on this whole analogy about how, like, relationships can't be as strong. And, like, even 15-year-old me was like, I think that's bullshit. <laughs> like, yeah. What is happening? I also hate that what we were taught was called abstinence plus. I don't know why that makes me so mad, but, like... Is that ooh. not a streaming service? <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it is a type of sex ed that schools can can pay for that cur- and have that curriculum that is like you don't have to save yourself for marriage if you have sex while you're a teenager be safe about it but the only way to guarantee you won't get pregnant is if you don't have sex and it's called either safer sex or what ours was called was abstinence plus which abstinence- is the stupidest shit i've ever heard abstinence plus sounds like new game plus so like if you lose your virginity <laughs> And you you go back like like you like like, like if I if I go back and have sex with the girl that I lost my virginity to I'm like running and it's an abstinence plus run no no it's like you lose like your I get to you no, but I also get I get to use all the moves I learned you have sex right and then you go back to being abstinence you're like okay well you know what no more sex till marriage again okay that it's I, the I revirgification process that fundamentalist up. Christians do exactly so you I, I screwed up. Now I'm saving myself for marriage. And then you get to carry over your sex and your skills from that one time to your marriage. You know, that's yeah. absolutely plus right there. <laughs> Come in with a full skill tree. <laughs> level 10 level, level ten weapons at a level one. You just fucking stab yeah, the ball game around. You. Uh, would you believe there is a Degrassi episode that makes that joke? About how, like, hooking up with a reformed virgin is the best way to do it. It's the best of both worlds. It's still your first time in marriage. But, like, they, Literally. But like they know what they're doing. And it's it's wild. It's so wild. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Alec, you had a fun topic, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, great oh, segue man. there. Um, so, I was over at a friend's house on Friday, and... Uh, this is a friend I always we always go see movies and all that stuff, hang out and all. And uh, he kind of brought up a topic of if you could build your perfect fast food meal, what would it be? And then he gave me the criteria of you get an entree. Um, sorry, let me look at my notes. You get an entree, a side, fries, a beverage, and a dessert. And what he told me was an honorable mention side or uh, entree, but I'm just looping that in. So you pick two entrees. Okay. So two okay. entrees, a side, fries, beverage, and a dessert. My question is, as somebody who's a big Taco Bell fa- fan, is like a, a single taco or a single burrito. We count that as an entree or a side. I'm looking it up right now to see what it is technically on the menu because my brain went to the fr- the same place. So I'm literally going to I would the call it, if you're right just getting like a simple, like just a soft taco, you know, crunchy taco, I would just call it, or a, you know, like a uh, dollar menu. Like a, yeah, I would right. kind of call those aside. Um, I actually, so I'll just go first while you guys are thinking. Um, so, because when he, you know, so uh, my, or one of my entrees, the first one, uh, I did the Dave's Double from Wendy's. Okay. And then Absolutely. at the point when he said it was an honorable bunch of, but I'm just choosing to answer my other entree, the Quesarito from Taco Bell. Okay. Um, then for my side... I put uh, crazy bread from Little Caesars because we're doing fast food. So, right. That's um, then fries. I also dip back to Taco Bell. And same with the drink. I did uh, nacho fries and Baja Blast. And then for my dessert, I picked the Subway chocolate chip cookie. I like that. I like that. I think uh, I think like, you know how most burger places like like McDonald's, like 
a lot of fast food places actually do like burgers and chicken. I think yeah. chicken is an important part here. So I'm going to go one of my entrees, chicken strips from Raising Cane's. Okay. Burger. I, and then that second that second entree I have freed up. Yeah, it could be any two entrees. It doesn't have to be a burger. but Right. I, I go to the burgers because I love fast food burgers. And yep. I, I'm debating between five guys and a Baconator. But I'm mm-hmm. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning more towards the baconator because I just love how simple that shit is. Just a couple patties, yep. cheese, ketchup, yep. mayo. That's why bacon. I went with the Dave's double. Like it, right? It, yeah, it's good. Perfect. It's solid. And every time. Aside, I uh, I'm going back to Cane's for that toast because goddamn that toast is so mm-hmm. good. For fries, oh ooh, I think. Do I go back to Wendy's? Am I just building out? No, 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 no. I go Chick Fil A. I go Chick Fil A. The waffle fries. The sure I picked, look- before I remembered the nacho fries, I picked McDonald's fries. Also, also it's good a consumer, solid but- choice all around. Oh, yeah, I think I gotta go to the waffle fries and then give me like an apple pie. Just an apple pie from McDonald's. Those sh- those shits always mm-hmm. hit. They're perfect. And then just Dr Pepper. The, the best soda yes you know could be from anywhere i don't think anywhere has a better dr pepper than a different mm-hmm. place it's not like it's not like the whole mcdonald's coke conspiracy right, yeah. in terms of the tanks and the syrup and all that shit it's just dr pepper across the board yeah because it's better than both kiss. coke and pepsi amen it's a fact okay, okay. jordan oh Laren, you're good oh i thought jordan might need more time than i do because it, do you need more time I actually I think like, I got what? it. Okay, then Whichever you, can go. you got, Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. So entree one, simple, classic, easy, McChicken. Love it. It's my okay. go-to. Sometimes this is a pro tip for anyone. Say, hey, no mayo, add mac sauce. All right. Second All entree, right. beefy melt burrito with extra fiesta strips. That extra crunch really adds a lot to, to the beefy melt burrito. Side okay. one, crunchy taco. Simple, classic, same flavors, but just Again, the crunch really adds to it. Yep. Side two, five guys fries. Like those one, you get a shit ton. Even if you order like oh, yeah. a small, there right. is I a small that. is a large and a large is all their fries. I love it. Um, I, I literally had um, five guys yesterday and um, I was like, fuck, do I just do a regular fry? Because I know they're going to pour more in the bag to keep my food hot. I love the fact that they do that. And I was like a regular fry. Is like five ninety eight, or I could just go the large fry for a dollar more. And I was like, "Fuck it!" And you're getting the extra yeah. 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 double extra. fries. Yes, yeah. literally yeah. an extra large fry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my beverage Baja Blast, but like honorable mention to the McDonald's Sprite classic meme. Yeah, when I dropped oh. my phone in a McDonald's Sprite. That just started charging. <laughs> um, and dessert. I'm gonna. I will preface this with: I know this is from the worst fast food chain, but sleeper hit. The Burger King Hershey pie, actually the one good okay. thing on Burger King's menu. Burger King slaps. Come on. It has its moment. I've okay, I went years without eating Burger King, and then they were like, eat Burger King for a chance to win a free PS5. And I had more Burger King in a week than I had in like the past few years. <laughs> oh, I remember You're... this. Yeah, and what was crazy is I'd already gotten my pre-order. I was like, but I could have two. You're yeah, I remember Drew and I had a whole conversation about that. <laughs> You're going to sit here and you're going to fucking tell me you didn't go for a Miles Morales Spider-Man Whopper, dude. Come on. No. I almost did, but I was also like, why is the worst fast food chain doing a promo with the best superhero? <laughs> right? They've always done them. The Spider-Man 3 toys. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. We, we remember yeah. this. Spider-Man and Burger King go fucking hand Way in back. hand, dude. That's oh, yeah. Fair. Just like McDonald's and Pokemon. Literally. Yeah. Or no, what are the gold, the gold cards for Burger King? The thing is, Pokemon's jumped to both because yeah, the Pokemon like gold cards was were Burger King, but then like yeah. I'm sure there was stuff in the middle. But during Sun and Moon, I remember Pokemon had a promo with uh, McDonald's. Shit, during the pandemic, like late 2020, yeah, they had those like ago, the the Happy Meals. Get, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah no, that was 2021, right before the uh, announcement of the Gen Four remakes. They were putting out a lot of stickers of the Gen Four starters, and I was like, I'm onto this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went and sold all those cards on eBay for like 50 bucks. Damn. All right. All right. What's Please. yours? I'm going to need people to remind me of what I'm being asked for. Like all the all right. items. So two entrees. Okay. 
Get we it. have to go slower. I'm not going to remember it. So okay, yeah. uh, the Two first entrees. one is absolutely uh, Crunchwrap Supreme, but I get it with chicken because I'm I beef from fast food places really skews me out. I don't know why. It's just like one of my OCD things. We're working on it, but like I can't eat beef from it. I have like this really weird fear of contamination from it, so I only eat chicken. When when you say you're working on it, do you mean like exposure therapy? Literally, like, I like... am working on it with my therapist because like I legitimately have contamination fears of ground beef from like you're <laughs> like, oh, let me let me start out with like a McDonald's McDouble and work my way up to like a fucking six patty the the T Rex burger from um, <laughs> fucking Wendy's with eight patties on yeah. it, like that kind of shit. It's a it's, it's really like, party pack. With, like, yeah. party <laughs> it's, I really it's it's very strange where I have like a price mark that like if the restaurant falls below that in my head, I won't eat beef from there. I don't know mm. why. I don't know what I'm afraid of getting. It's not mad cow. I know mad cow isn't a thing. And what's interesting is like, it's easier. You have more room to like be a little bit off with beef and it not be bad. Like you don't have medium rare chicken. You can have medium rare beef. Like there's more no, risk that's with my chicken. Thing is that I feel like I, there's less risk with chicken. Like I feel like everybody knows when chicken is no longer translucent, it's done. Like, generally, like, if you're throwing chicken nuggets in a fryer, I know that's getting to the temperature because it's whatever the fryer is set to. It's not, there is no risk the way somebody can undercook a hamburger. Because one person's medium well is another person. I was literally talking about this with my parents. I just now, at 27 years old, am able to order a steak in restaurants less than well done. Because, like, I get, I have, like, really bad contamination issues with it. See, I need like, that shit to still be a little pink. See, I've always, or literally since I, and I can remember, I've, my parents have always done uh, medium well. So that's just yeah. how I've always ordered things. Now yeah. I'm anemic, and so I crave rare steak. And so I've gotten into rare steak, and we're slowly trying to get there with my <laughs> issues with beef. Um but it's very weird because it's also like my aunt owns a dairy farm. She raises beef cattle. And I think part of it is I know how cows are treated on family farms and I know how they're treated on factory farms. And I know what McDonald's like places like McDonald's are paying for. And so I get like convinced of like, I don't know where this came from, where I am absolutely an annoying white person that falls into, well, if I'm buying organic uh, from family farms, I know right. kind of like what went into it. This is so dumb. I want everyone listening to this. I'm aware it is so stupid. <laughs> like, We're I'm not saying I'm entree. right. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Crunchwrap Supreme. Absolutely. I fucking love Crunchwraps. I make them for myself. That it is. I just had them for tier. breakfast this morning. I haven't tried their breakfast one. Oh, and I want the breakfast to. ones are so good. I've heard. I was Alec. I was really hoping you would be like, I didn't have the breakfast one. I just had one for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but I know what time they start serving. Start serving <laughs> what? But yeah, Crunchwrap Supreme just with chicken um, mm -hmm. instead of beef is definitely entree number one. Entree number two is, um, and this is mostly because when I'm high, chef's kiss. The um, either the avocado chicken club or the classic chicken sandwich from Wendy's. I don't know okay. why I love it so much, but I love it so much. It's so good. Um, Okay, so that's two entrees. Uh, next is a side. A side. See, this is where I'm sure. Oh, actually, this is going to be a deep cut. There is a, in upstate New York, there is a Taco Bell competitor, I guess you would call it. Fast food place. It's like drive through. No, Mighty mm. Taco. <laughs> um, they are all, all over Buffalo. Um, their tacos are so good. So one of their just like classic chicken Mighty Tacos would, would mm. absolutely be a side and fries wendy's wendy's new fries are delicious they are yes. they are That's they're solid. like they're double fried they're so show. good and then a drink i'm a baby i only drink coke or unsweetened iced tea like that's all I drink. I don't drink any other. I mean, this is your perfect meal. So is that you making a face at the unsweetened iced tea? Well, well, <laughs> I also I I make a face at it because like iced tea in Canada is just your guys' sweet tea, and so like I'll never forget going down to the states for the first time and being like, oh, can I get an iced tea? And it's like an actual iced. But tea. that doesn't happen that's everywhere. As fuck. 
it happened to me the first time and i was like never again like i'll not drink iced tea in the states ever again I, y'all have y'all have your sweet because I, I would argue yeah. like any iced tea you're buying that's like packaged like an arizona or a snapple or a pure leaf is like it's gonna be sweetened to pure the way that you be like pure leaf though does have unsweet they but have unsweet options say, yeah i am thrilled there is one brand that i've only ever seen out here called uh uh Te- Tevajo or something like that and it's literally just on un- really strong unsweetened black tea and i buy eight packs of them in glass bottles oh, and i bring them to work with me nah, i hate show. sweet tea <laughs> yeah. i don't like peach tea i don't like anything in my iced tea i just like black strong iced tea <laughs> maybe that's why you're always so sad when no. just have some sugar yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> it just <laughs> i hate i hate it i don't have like I don't like Diet Coke or Pepsi, but I can't really tell the difference. If you give me iced tea with any amount of sugar in it, I can immediately tell and cannot, like, cannot drink it. I really dislike it. I'm going to say this is 80 grams of, 80 milligrams of sugar in this iced tea. And we're like, oh, fuck, how'd you know? Yeah. How many many sugar cubes did we put in your tea? It's it's like how Terry Crews and everybody hates Chris goes like, that's 30 cents worth of sprinkles. Aaron's like, that is seven and a half grams worth of tea, uh, sugar. And like, it gets into the, it's the same thing with hot tea. The only thing I will put in hot tea is sometimes milk. And that's only very specific. I also don't take my tea bag out because my mom doesn't take her tea bag out. So my sister and I grew up thinking you just left the tea bag in. I've I've done it both ways incredibly strong tea but you also drink incredibly strong tea compared to your general american the thing is no i drink lipton no but like you leave the bag in and like your mom has brought my mom tea that is chef's kiss oh i make i've been making it so much because last time i went home my mom gave me fresh mint and arabic tea is just a lot of fresh mint with tea and you most people put a good amount of sugar in it but i guess learn that's not for you but like something about the mint and the sugar and just having it all boil together it comes out so good you have it during breakfast time it's my favorite can the, can i just add it's weird as an adult to hear tea bag because i immediately get like <laughs> yeah. nom, i get my nom gamer just, yeah, flashbacks because yeah, like, <laughs> i don't associate tea bags with a bag of tea i associate it with putting your nuts in another grown man's face yep. after you killed him on halo or call of duty so it's so fucking weird to hear tea bag used in the, the real like terms. worst way it's yeah, like the actual, actual item <laughs> yeah. um so Josh, imagine dropping a tea bag into water. Now you know why the nut thing is called that. Oh, oh! <laughs> if I learned that for the first time as a twenty-five-year-old, I, I, I would have failed. <laughs> to be honest, though, I think I was twenty-two when I learned what tea bagging was, and I, I didn't immediately you. know what. I probably said it, and you were like, "Wait, what?" And I was like, "Tea bagging." And like I probably said oh, it to no, you actually, as no, if it I was a it. regular term. Uh, where I learned it was when a man in a club in London, uh, who was on many, many drugs and would not leave me alone, came up to me and asked me, have you ever been teabagged? And I turned to one of the guys I was with and went, I don't know what that means. And he went, it's bad. We are walking away. (laughs) This is not continuing. At least they didn't ask if you've ever been squidwarded. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Alec, (laughs) what's the next thing? We just did drinks. What's the next thing? Oh, absolutely. The apple empanadas from Mighty Taco. Ooh, they are so good. It is, it's essentially an apple pie, but like, Mm -hmm. ooh, it is delicious. All righty. Well, that's it for that one. That's all I got there. Okay. Can I bitch about one thing really quick before we wrap up? Yeah. Um, I cannot get over Colleen Ballinger's apology video. (laughs) It's been two weeks and I'm not over this fucking ukulele song. Like, that is a choice. And it's still, still it. up. Alec, it's wild. It's whatever your picture is, it's worse. It. I know of it. I just haven't watched it. I am choosing just to not even ignore. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. That's the thing she did. And just, I just, like, I want to, like, what's it called? Um, dissociate during this conversation. Yeah. I don't care. Right. Like, I don't. Like, no, obviously, she did it was bad. And, like, it should be said that it's bad. But, like, I yeah. don't care. I just cannot get over your entire team, your entire team was like, do not talk approve about this. Don't this. say anything. Don't. No, didn't approve it. Right. She right. actively she makes is like. A point. She makes a point of that in the video. Yeah. She's like, this, this is my words, my thoughts. 
Yeah. And I was like, okay, this video is getting absolutely, it has over a million dislikes on YouTube. It's getting what? Right. Is she based out of California? Yes. It, didn't the they just YouTube pass a law that like, what if you say something in a song, it can't be like admissible in court or something? I don't fucking know. <laughs> there, there's like a thing with like, I'm not a lawyer. There was yeah, like, okay, dude, so, you're the one who went to law school. <laughs> I, no, I I know what you're saying. I thought you mentioned rap, it to me. Uh, yeah, it's because of like rapper. rappers talking about like because in different rap murder. songs of like like the image rappers are supposed to have. They talk about like selling drugs or murdering, and so California went out of their way to like pass a law that like admitting yeah, to something but, in a song is not allowed to be admissible in court. But Bobby she also Shmurda doesn't probably admit to mad it. as fuck. But she also didn't admit to it yeah. in the song. The entire song is her saying, none of this is true. It's all made up. Oh, it'd be Even so much weirder if the song was her going, yeah, I did it. Well, well you everybody- got you to gotta jump on the toxic gossip train, uh, gossip train my friend. You know, it's, this <laughs> she is does all a gossip. theater this kid all run room. in it, Josh. She does a theater I, kid it, run. I've, I've seen the video, and I think, I think it's god-awful. I think, like, <laughs> so obvi- so it, had she just so gone so the regular YouTube apology route, she if things would it probably would have blown like not blown it, it would have been like, way different it would have been way different but because she did this not only did the internet dunk on her and make memes for a, a whole fucking two like, weeks like <laughs> seen the guitar hero <laughs> lines come up and, and yeah like, but then people have been making so many memes that it's now devolved into people digging through her past and watching her gunnam style fucking cover where she's just saying racist terms and shit like that, and just like, like just making a cover of Gunnam style that's just god awful. But that was her whole shtick. It's like I even like her Starships video was her just saying the words wrong. It, this, it used to annoy. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. It, it used to annoy me in middle but, school. Why? That, let out your rage. I don't give okay, a shit. No, but it was annoying <laughs> that when I was in middle school and in theater, every theater was like, "This is so funny," and I was like, "One, I don't find that funny." Two, when she right. sings poorly, you guys are laughing your asses off, and because you know it's a joke. But when I mess up one note on stage as a kid who's supposed to be learning, you guys are all making fun of me. Because she is exactly. an annoying theater kid. Like that's what it comes back to. Literally. Like she is guys, I was already we I bullied Jordan into agreeing doing a podcast sometime this summer with Victoria talking about uh uh like theater kids and like that whole experience oh, nice. for us. Um theater kids drive me crazy but like yeah they all liked miranda sings because she is an annoying theater kid and then watching yeah. the best the best tweet i saw was uh somebody tweeted watching colleen ballinger's apology video is like watching a deleted scene from glee like this is absolutely Literally. something they would have written leah michelle to do yeah. i'm just worried just, if i well, watch her sing an eight minute song on a ukulele apologizing i'm just worried it's going to give me cancer like then, I, I i cringe to the point also, i think it's gonna pop a tumor kind of catchy it's kind of catchy it'll get it, it is kind of catchy right is it a bop but, no it's a bop. Bop. <laughs> listen <laughs> my spotify <laughs> rap's about to have a new number one <laughs> it's got a hook. it's got a hook um but then like not only did we like cover up this offensive gundam style video then we just found her in black in all the single ladies like it's like had you not done the ukulele shit we we would have not we like we would have avoided this. yeah we wouldn't have covered this up so now she's about to have to fucking bust out the electric guitar, fucking get a whole opera for the next apology video of all the other shit she's like we've recovered. So it's like, ugh. my my favorite thing, though, is like, I don't know how I don't know if this is mainstream enough, but I would love to see the boys do something on this because like the boys, oh, the boys yeah. parodies real world shit so fucking well. To the point the where, A-train like, drink. The A-Train drink, but also not only that, but they had all the superheroes and like and celebrities singing Imagine, just oh, like Gal Gadot yeah. did, right? They had the fucking <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, like, Pepsi commercial. So if season four I, uh, of the board, Kendall or Jenner, season not Caitlyn. Kendall Jenner, uh, right. Uh, two very Jenner, individual. Two very, yeah, yeah two Caitlyn very, Jenner's the one that killed that person driving. Yeah, if right. you had said any of the sisters, I would have let it lie. But I, <laughs> I thought I said a sister, but I did not. Uh, but they parody so much shit. So it's like season four is done rap. But if like season five comes around and we get a superhero on the, the ukulele apologizing for like killing a civilian or some shit like that. Or just being like... <laughs> 
being like, mm-hmm. oh, it's you know, it's <laughs> gossip. It's gossip. Did I A Train's like on the ukulele? Did I really just run through a woman at super son- like sonic speed? You know? No, this know. is gossip with no <laughs> proof. Even yeah, though like, there are screenshots for fucking days. Same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no because that's the thing, Jordan, that had everybody so pissed off and is why they were dunking on her. It's not an apology video. It's her saying, even though there are screenshots on screenshots on screenshots on screenshots of proof of me doing this crap and videos still on my YouTube channel as people start to dig deeper, none of it happened and it's all made up or all being taken out of context. Yeah. It's yeah. a it's a song to basically say, nah uh. And then she yeah, tries to be like, I doing. can already see the comments of everybody calling me like a gaslighter and a narcissist. And it's like, okay, yeah. No, we're just, just calling because- you cringe, which is arguably worse. <laughs> yeah. But it's also like, just because you say that people are going to say that's what you're doing doesn't mean it's not what you're doing. I can forgive <laughs> being weird to kids, but I draw the line at being cringe. Well, it's like the thing I get so <laughs> stuck on is I saw that video and was like, oh, this isn't going to stay up. She's getting fucking dunked on. She's going to take it down. It's still up. It's still on her channel. It's still just there for the whole. And she's an almost 40 year old woman with children. She has children. Like there are, are three children age? in this home. Soon to be. Oh, no. Uh, the, yeah. Her young, the twins, I think are like, I don't follow her, but I think they're like two. I remember all the like medical chaos around the twins being like early when I moved here. So like two, three years ago, I think. Um, and then she has an older one who I think is like five or six. Oh, so right. Okay, but the kindergartners aren't going to know what the fuck's going the on. I was just worried that know, like, but there is going to be a day where he pisses off the wrong child at school. And that kid comes in with a fucking ukulele the next day yeah. and ruins him for the rest well, of the time. I feel like that. Cause he'd be like, what's this supposed to mean? And then his parents are gonna be like, ah, okay. So, well, because Jordan really like think you were, I hope you don't care that I say this. You were kind of bullied when you were in school. I'm downplaying yeah. it, but yeah. No, it's fine, yeah. If you knew, if one of the kids that bullied you, you found a video of their parent doing something that cringy, you would use that, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'm not, I'm not, what I'm about to say, I got to make it very clear. I'm not proud of. But be, I, I had no other choice. I was dirty when I would answer back. I would I would go for body stuff. I would like I just I would just say shit that I had to to survive. Like I, it was like the last of us of words out there, bro. Right. You, yeah. They like, take the low road. You go lower. You know, yeah. Type thing. When you're ten, you don't really have more options. And I couldn't say much because like I was overweight well into fifth grade. Like. And to be clear, this isn't like Jordan's mom was just like leaving Jordan to the to the, to the wolves. wolves. Like, like she was before. trying to get the school to deal with it like she did before. <laughs> I thought you were a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> we're building a beautiful analogy of like the pack turning on you and you ending up with your mother and your mother trying to make you a human. Like this is just whoa. Um, but full circle. <laughs> she tried she tried. She like was going to the school and being like, yo. Yeah. This eight-year-old wants to kill himself. <laughs> okay, you said it, not me. Nah, I can say it about myself. Yeah. Yeah. And you said yeah, something no. weirder on Marvel School for Dummies yesterday. I'm sure I did. About, like, going into the abyss or something. Oh, no, what? wanting to return. Wanting to oh. return your life experience. <laughs> that was, I think, off-camera, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Uh, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll make the analogy here. I was joking about like how I'm just gotten to the point where like the second any inconvenience comes up, I'm like, I should kill myself. But okay, Amen. I got to make very clear. If anybody's actually having these feelings, get help. It's okay. Not be okay. Obviously, I'm just saying as somebody, you know, in that world, that vibe, I'm kind of just like, I feel like I'm early enough in the experience of life that I could still send it back to the waiter. And like, I don't want to wait too long. Yeah. I, Josh gets I feel it. that. Yeah, I I feel that because uh, now like we we've passed medically assisted a medical assistance in dying in Canada made, uh, which which is just like oh are you going through some tough time are you terminally ill or like mentally ill you can like sign up and like essentially have healthcare yeah. do it for you and any inconvenience I'm like. Should I submit an application? Like, fuck, dude. Like, it's just the world is on right fire now. right now, and the only way to deal with it is with kind of macabre humor. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. like Gen how Z's many dark once- humor is top tier? Uh, but I was just like, how many once in a lifetime events have we lived through? So many. <laughs> 
1808 <laughs> recession, two wars that have went on for 20 years, a pandemic, another recession that's kind of hasn't started and is kind of looming, but is also somewhat going on. Like A different kind um, of housing crisis developing out of the 2008 housing crisis developing out of the 2008 recession. Colin Ballinger's apology video. The unfortunate, like, yeah, that so I had much. to see that. <laughs> that I had to see all the videos that outed Shane Dawson as a creep. That that had to that I that I had to he learn. Deserved it. Yes, he did. But uh, anything that I had to learn about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox's relationship, like right, unwillingly, and now and now we have new Jonah Hill text messages, and it's like, God fucking damn it, dude! Is, yeah. is ev- does everyone suck? Everyone sucks. Yeah. It's it's just, it's been a rough time. And so we got to find ways to laugh. I can't it. believe the second supporting character in my favorite movie is a bad person. The second supporting character. Oh, he's an accepted? Yeah, he hangs out in a in a hot Don't dog costume. Don't say yeah, like I'm supposed to know <laughs> that. Have I not I told you that it has, it has 2006 Jonah Hill going, ask me about my winner in a hot dog costume as part of his freshman rush to get into a fraternity. I'm telling you, you got to watch Accepted. I'm not going to like it. Like you have been trying to convince me to watch this movie for years, but everything you describe is not funny to me. I'm not going to, and I won't watch it because I don't want, like, I know how it feels when um, you show a friend something you really, really like and they don't like it. And I don't want to put you through that. I just feel like it's important to understanding me. I understand you. We have been friends for over 10 years. I get you. It's fine. And if you want to be our friend for over 10 years, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Spotify, give us a good review, but no parasocial relationships, please. Uh, We are currently going through Secret Invasion, so every episode we're going to have a recap, a discussion. We have a SpongeBob stream up. We have Shared Screen Smackdown still up, our actual Street Fighter tournament that was all live. You can go back and watch the VOD. Anyway, we will see you guys next time. Goodbye.